The gloves are coming off, Aunt Sheridan. I hate Nancy. I want to see her screaming in pain. Would you control yourself? Why? Nancy showed her true self to us tonight. She is just as selfish and nasty as we are. Uh, speak for yourself. <sighs> the nerve of her. How, how dare she come in here and give us orders? How dare she tell us to leave Luis to her? What else did you expect? That's not even half of it. Did you hear what she said about my face? She did this to me, and, and does she feel guilty about it? No, 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 no. She tells me to stop being the victim. I am the victim. I am Fancy's victim. My own sister destroyed my face and my life. No man will even look at me, let alone touch me with these horrible scars, except Luis. That's just another fantasy. No. He made love to me. Yeah, under duress. He made love to you because my father forced him to, and the sooner you get that through your head, the better. It was much more than that. I felt it. Luis told me that my face didn't matter to him. Honey, he was being kind. No, he meant it. Luis is loving and gentle and wonderful, and he deserves a much better woman than Fancy. You're, you're me. only going to get hurt. I can take care of myself. Now, first things first, we have to break up Luis and Fancy. Well, good luck. Oh, you are going to help me. We made a pact. Together, we will break up Luis and Fancy, even if we have to kill her. No, absolutely hey, no. Hey, you made a deal with me, Aunt Sheridan. We are going to tear Luis and Fancy apart, and if we have to kill her to do it, then too bad. Hey, there you are. Did you miss me? Yeah, every second. Where you been? Just uh, finishing up some loose ends. Loose ends, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you're back. I have the perfect way to end the perfect evening. Hmm. See? Oh, uh, Louise, what did you bring me? Very special dessert mm. just for you. Hmm. Well, I'll bet that the dessert I have in mind for you is even better. Yeah, yeah, that dessert there can wait. Hmm. Not mine. Good. I want you so badly. Mother was right. This is working. What what has happened to you, <laughs> Just huh? Be quiet. Did you leave me? I didn't want to. You're back now. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm right over here. Mommy's here. I'm glad. Me too. I'm so glad. Don't ever leave me again. Never. I'm never gonna leave any of you ever again. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places and kiss the lips of the one who could sing so i 
Teresa. Oh God, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm sure you are. But this is never going to change, is it? Okay. It's time for sleep, okay? This is all just a dream. But it seems so real. All good dreams do. I want all your dreams to make you happy. Me too. I want his dream to come true. But how? I have to stay dead or one to will kill our entire family. Okay, honey. Let's go to sleep now. Wait a minute. Did you know that Uncle Ethan's going to adopt me? Did he tell you that? Yeah. But I'm already his son. And he's already my real dad. Does that make a difference? Can I tell him, Mommy? Can I tell Uncle Ethan he's my real daddy? I really can't believe in our most private moment together you're you're thinking of Teresa. Gwen, I'm I'm sorry. Ethan, I really I want a real life with you. I don't want to be in bed with you and Teresa. I really, really am sorry. You know that there can only be two people in a marriage. And I really am willing to give you some time, but if you are never gonna let anyone into your heart except Teresa, then then we made a mistake here because I, I, I shouldn't have to beg for your love. You know, I deserve better. The, the children deserve better. And we're not going to be able to be a happy, real family if, if you're not committed to us. No, I, I will be. What, out of commitment? I love you. I love you so much. I always have. Don't you realize the amazing, wonderful life we can have together? Ethan, we have Jonathan, our beautiful son. We have Jane. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a second mother to little Ethan. And, you know, I've always agreed with you that it's best for, for children if both their mother and father are together and live together and are happy together. But I need to know, you know, if you are going to be able to, to fulfill that promise you made to me. I mean, I need to know. I need to know if you can still love me. You made a promise to me, a solemn vow. <sighs> Together we will get rid of Fancy. You have to kill her to do that, and so be it. No, no, I will not kill Fancy. When we joined forces, murder was not an option. So what are you saying, Aunt Sharon? Have you given up already? <sighs> no. Have you given up on Luis? Have you let Fancy win him back already? No, no, I, I will do anything to get Luis back. Almost anything. Because Fancy is not right for Luis. I am. But there is no reason why we should kill her to break them up. I don't see why not. It would be easier. I mean, there are a million ways to do it right here on the estate. We could push her off the cliffs onto the rocks. Hey, murder is off the table. What is your wonderful idea, then, to get Luis away from Fancy? I'll use our past. What does that mean? Oh. Luis and I have some pretty incredible memories together. 
Memories of passion, adventure. That'll definitely bring him back to me. Oh, yeah. And, of course, we have a child together. He'll realize how important it is for the two of us to be together so that Marty has an intact family. It's going to take forever. Come on. A, a shot to the heart. A quick, sharp knife. We can't get rid of Fancy tonight. Or push her off the cliffs. Problem solved. Pretty. Memories, please. Fancy and Luis have memories, too. Uh, no, not as strong as the ones that Luis and I have. And, of course, we'll always have our past lives. Ugh. Fine. It will bring Luis back to me. And even the memories that we have created in this life are rock solid. Such as? Such as the memory we have of dancing the tango. No puedo olvidar la noche que te vi. No dejo de Always dance like this. And we will every day for the rest of our lives. Tu forma de mover. No puedo esperar. There is nothing that Fancy can do that will ever compete with that. <laughs> <laughs> Spoil me. I mm. love your dessert. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, first I was going to get chocolate. But then I realized if there's chocolate in the same room that you're in, you're going to totally forget about me. <laughs> Smart man. Yes. <laughs> no, this is delicious. It's sweet and light. <laughs> and you know what? Mm. I have a feeling it's going to lead to something even sweeter. Good. Mm. That's my master plan. Oh, no. What am I going to do? There's a man that wants to have his way with me. Over and over and over. <laughs> mm. You've been so sweet tonight. This whole evening has been wonderful. The candles, the dinner, it's all been perfect. Well, it really, it wasn't that much, but it was pretty good for the last minute. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you so many other things, show you the ways that I love you, and I just want us to have special memories, too, things we can share with one another. Mm. When Luis and I first met, we danced the tango at his mother's house. Well, ever since then, it's been more than just a dance. Every time he holds me in his arms, we have this bond that's its just unbreakable. Um, <clears throat> well, if you really mean that, let me ask you something. Uh, what? Uh, well, there's something I've dreamed of doing with you. Something that can become our special memory. Well, huh. I'm game for anything. Will you teach me the tango? Once I remind Luis of what we shared together, he will forget all about Fancy. She can't compete. Oh, yes, Luis. He loved me. I shared some wonderful memories with Luis, too. Oh, my God. Not this again. A memory, okay? One. You are a child and a disturbed one at that. No, Luis made love to me. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Ooh. 
You just keep living in your fantasy world, sweetheart. <sighs> Let me tell you something, honey. Reality, it always trumps fantasy in the end. You can think whatever you would like, Aunt Sheridan, but Luis and I shared something deep and meaningful. <laughs> yeah, under duress. You have no idea what we shared. Mm. Okay, look, I don't want to keep arguing with you. We keep going round and round in circles and keep ending up at the same spot. So let's just break up Luis and Fancy and we'll hash this out in the end. Fine. For once, I have to admit you're right. Mm. You need to figure out a way to break up Luis and Fancy. Exactly. I know. Since you won't let me kill her, how about I just make her uglier than I am? I mean, I'm sure they have plenty of chemicals uh -huh. left down by the pool. No, no, you are so aggressive, and that will only backfire with Luis. Okay? He, he thinks he's so liberated, but in the end, he wants all the control. All men do. <laughs> Even I know that. Okay. The subtle approach works best with Luis. We need to let him think that he has decided that Fancy is the wrong woman for him on his own. No way. That hasn't worked so far. To do something more than that, which is why I was using the implant to control Fancy. The crazier she got, the more Luis hated her. Yeah, now they're closer than ever. Thanks to you. All right, look, would you just listen to me and do as I say? Because I know Luis better than you do. Yeah, but you're chicken. You won't go the distance to get Louise back. I I will. I just won't go to extreme lengths. Only time will tell. It always does. <sighs> Dango. Yes. Teach me, Louise. Well, I don't understand. You want me to teach you the tango? Where's this coming from all of a sudden? It's just a thought. Well, as I recall, we did dance the tango once, and you didn't seem to like it that much. You didn't give me a chance. You danced the night away with Aunt Sheridan. <clears throat> well, I, I was embarrassed. Yes, you tried to teach me before at the charity dance contest, and I was terrible at it. <laughs> you weren't terrible at all. Don't try to be kind. But I have learned a lot since then. The tango is more than a dance. It's... The language of passion. That's right. Well, I'd like to give it another try. Okay, well, I would be more than happy to teach you the tango. Uh, you really think you can teach me? Of course I can teach you. I'm Latin. I learned to tango before I learned to walk. <laughs> I'll bet I can teach you a thing or two. Gwen, I haven't lied to you. I... I do want to be with you. Yeah, but not as much as you wish you could be with Teresa. I know that that's impossible. I, I, I'm willing to make a fresh start. You're willing? Look, I don't want to have to twist your arm even. I want you to want to be with me. I do. I really do. I, I want to move forward. I'm just... I'm a... In trouble accepting things. I mean, I was planning a life with Teresa, and now she's gone. That's the problem. I don't think you actually believe that she's gone. Oh, I do. I do believe she's gone. But I know I'm in trouble here. I'm having a hard time getting past the grief. And my head and my heart are not in the same place right now, and I need to accept that she is dead. And I want to help you with that. I know you do. Do you understand how important this fresh start is for me as well as for you? Look, for years, I only had half of half a husband, and, and you hurt me. Then you really did. I know I did. If you just, if you just let go, Ethan, you know we can, we can start over. I want a brand new fresh start, something better, not, not the same kind of marriage we had before. I want something deeper, something better for the both of us, but. It's gonna take two of us, you know? I know that I hurt you. And I know that none of this can be easy for you. And it's not. But if in the end I wind up with you, then it's all worth it. I'm willing to go through hell with you here. As long as in the end we'll be happy. 
We will be. I, I promise you that. Well, if you mean that, then that's all I need to hear. Well, this is a good place to start. Ethan, let me in. Let me replace Teresa in your heart. I can explain it, Mommy. Is it okay for me to tell Uncle Ethan that he's really my dad? No. Not yet. Someday, sweetheart, things are going to be different. But for now, I need you to help me keep this secret, okay? Someday in my dreams, or someday in for real life. Just go to sleep, okay? I like this dream. I don't want you to worry about anything ever again, okay? No more bad dreams. Just let the angels watch over you. Are you an angel? Good dreams are stories the angels tell you. Then you are an angel. Just go to sleep, okay? This was just a dream. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight and moonbeams are waiting for thee. Sounds of the roof are heard in the day. Loved by the moonlight. Have all passed away. Listen, you hear that? What? I, what? I don't hear anything. No, it can't be. What are you talking about? You, you don't hear that? I don't hear anything. No, some, someone was, uh, someone singing. Ethan, seriously, I don't hear anything. Wait, 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 listen. Uh, no, I know, I know that, I know that voice that's, uh, it's beautiful. Okay, I think that you are imagining things. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. That's, uh, that's Teresa singing. said a second ago. Just relax, okay? Yeah. Angel can express a lot of emotion. Yeah. You just follow my lead. Uh, Feel that? Right there, you are. okay? I have to remember the steps. Don't you worry about the steps, they'll come. Why did you bring me up here? 
We both know what Luis and Fancy are doing. Don't make assumptions, Aunt Sheridan. We have to keep track of Fancy every minute so we can be one step ahead of her. I've already seen Luis and Fancy make love before. It was gross enough the first time. I don't want to see them go at it again. Shh. What's that music? She didn't. That bitch. She's trying to steal my memories with Louise. Life's busy throng. Beautiful dreamer. Awake unto me. beautiful where did you come from oh, i'm not interrupting a family moment am i but you are family thanks buddy i appreciate that do you think now's a good time do you want to tell him the truth you mean it yes uh she <laughs> what are you guys talking about sit down i've wanted to tell you this forever not my uncle Ethan. What? No. Oh, you're my real daddy. What's he talking about? It's true. I didn't mean to keep the truth from you, Ethan. It's just... You are little Ethan's father. <laughs> I'm his father? I'm this boy's father? That's the best news in the world. Come here. Some days we are. I just pray it won't be too late. That was that was Teresa's voice. I know it was. You know that's impossible, right? It was her voice. Gwen, I, 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 I know that song. She used to sing it to little Ethan and Jane before she put them to bed. That was Teresa. I know it was. You're scaring me a little bit. No, look, you, you don't understand. No, I do. I do, and I'm really worried about you because I had no idea it was this bad. Ethan, you need to face reality. Teresa is gone. I, I know that. Do you? You had to have heard her. Ethan, I didn't. I, I don't know... What you were hearing in your head, but there's no way it was Teresa singing. No, it was. It, it was her. Ethan, I, 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 I think this is just in, in, in your head. Or in my heart. Look, I don't know exactly what's going on with you right now, but I've been in really bad places before. And it's so, so easy to drift away from reality. You know, it's comforting, it is. But it's not real, and you can't give in to it. It's just going to cause you so much more pain. Maybe you're right. I know I'm right. And, and I really hate to see you hurting this much. And I wish there was something I could do, some way to make you really realize that if Teresa's gone. She's not coming back. You really didn't hear that? I didn't. I didn't hear anything. No, I, b before. Did you hear it before? No, Ethan, I didn't hear any singing. Not now, not... Not before, either. No one was singing. It was real. I know it was real. If you don't give us a chance, we are never gonna get anywhere. No, you're right. Then kiss me.
You are so amazing. You have the most beautiful body. <laughs> you have a beautiful body. I want you to make love to me. <sighs> what? Sorry. I, uh, I need to check on little Ethan. Well, Ethan, he's been asleep for hours. I'm sure he's still sound asleep. No, but he's been having really bad dreams lately. Of course he has. It's to be expected. They're going to stop soon, especially once he feels part of a real family. Yeah, maybe he... Ethan, please. I'm please sorry. don't. No, no, I'm sorry. I really, I really gotta go check on him. Sorry. so close to me in the first place. She's always been selfish and grabby. She's trying to confuse him. She's trying to steal my memories. Do my memories with Luis bother you that much? I mean, of course, you must have so many memories with Luis because they become a secret language between you and your lover. For instance, if... Luis and I are walking across the estate, and we see a particular kind of rose. All I have to say is, do you remember? And he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Our first date. I bet this makes Aunt Sheridan get with the program. She looks like she's gonna rip his pants off at any minute. Isn't that the point of the tango? Am I a good pupil? Uh, the best. It's like I've never danced the tango before. <gasps> Did oh, you hear that? Yes, thank you very much. Oh, I bet he doesn't even remember your name. Oh, God, she is good, isn't she? That slut. It's not just a dance. It's a language.
So what was that about the subtle approach? Do you still think it will work? No, I don't. Good. Because the subtle approach only works if we're all ladies, and there are no ladies in the Crane family. Fancy is not playing fair. Not only is she creating her own memories with Louise, she is erasing any memories you created with him. I won't let her. So what are you going to do about it? I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get Fancy out of Louise's heart, even if it means killing her. Are you with me? <laughs> what is it? Not Sheridan. I have to go. What? Where are you going? It's none of your business. I have things to do. Ah, wait! <sighs> It'll be a lot easier if you help me, Aunt Sheridan. As soon as Fancy's out of the picture, all bets are off. I'll get rid of you, too. Any way I have to. Luis is mine. Teresa? I hope your dreams are peaceful tonight, buddy. It'll get better. We'll see. We'll get through this together. Daddy, is that you? Daddy, come here. Yeah, right here, buddy. How are the dreams going tonight? Okay. That doesn't okay. Great. That's good. It's good. I like it when you call me daddy, too. I do. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. I just I just wanted to check up on you. I'm sorry I woke you. You should uh you should get try to get some sleep, okay? Okay. All right. All right, let's see it. Come on, close those eyes. Did you see her? See who? Mommy. What are you talking about? She was here in my room, singing to me. Singing to you? Yeah, the song she always used to sing to me. 